Hey, it's Fabrina. I'm living on the, my daughter's side of the bed because I love my daughter so much. My daughter is not here because she is in Iraq fighting for us, for our lives. Please pray that she will come home soon. Okay, sorry. Now I have some pictures that I'm going to show you. And they're on his wall, but they might be hard to see, I don't know. So, number one, then groups of three pretty much. So, here's number one. Number two, number three. Do, 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 do. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, eight, nine. Lots of pictures. Ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, okay, 15, 16, 17, 18, mirrors, mirrors, um, there is one more picture of him in the army. Right here. My baby is right. Got to find it. They all look so much alike. She is right. That one. I gotta put the candle back. Now I'm gonna turn one light off. So I'm reading a story today. Well, it's really a long story. It's a letter to Mr. Robert Gates, who's the head of the army or something. He was the one that has been sending soldiers to Iraq. My sister in law wrote this, so when it says, I'm a wife and stuff like that. It's not me. It's my brother's wife. Okay. She got this for English class. And she got the honors award for it. Dear Mr. Robert Gates. My name is Holly Farrell. I am the wife of an active duty soldier in the United States Army. My husband has been active for duty for four years and is currently on his third tour in Iraq. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Torture consisted of 15 months of poor health in Iraq and consists worry for our families back home. Oh. April 11, 2007, you extended the length of deployment for active duty military duty is a funny word. Duty military due to the raging war in Iraq. 15 month deployments led to more deaths, more soldiers, more soldier exhaustion, and more ended marriages. Oh. All of which I witnessed first hand. Wow. 15 month deployments were a ridiculous expense on their lives of our American soldiers and their families. The August 1st, 2008 effective date of a shortened 12 month deployment raised uh, ho the hopes of many soldiers and their families. It raised the hopes of me for my baby coming home. But Mr. Robert Gates wouldn't let him. Hmm. 
Unfortunately, what the press and even did not release that was the soldiers who had already been deployed previously to a speech on a shortened, 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 shortened. Shortened deployment lengths were not going to be coming home after their 12 months served overseas. Our soldiers were required to stay the full 15 months because they deployed prior to the August 1st, 2008 effective date. The length of the deployment continues to be like a controller con controversial subject. Conversial subject that is not going to be given enough to attention to, in my opinion. <laughs> On September 2nd, 2010, we'll continue to give false hope to the families who have soldiers in Iraq by saying that all of the troops are being pulled out of Iraq. <laughs> this, however, is not the case. There are still more than 70,000 troops in Iraq and two will continue to stay in Iraq because you made a press release stating that soldiers were being pulled out of Iraq and soldiers, our soldiers were being bombarded with attacks. Where, the, where was the news coverage when this happened? Mr. Grace, you must assume I have another military wife who thinks the plant is not fair and lasts too long for my own selfish reasons. But I can assure you that I am amusing. Assuming you are just another politician who is the face for one party or another wasting the tax dollars of American citizens. Oh, good job, Holly. Great job, I love that. Now notice that now if the pictures that I showed you of my baby are of him at home. Most of them are at hotels where he is being stationed. And that's because he's never home. And I better go because I don't want to have water work in front of your guys. Okay. Thank you for listening. Please, please, she will come home so please. Thank you, bye.